All right, we're getting into the game. We are indeed. It looks like uh, I don't need to switch the overlay as well because they have joined in with Oxygen in the orange as usual. So, big game for both teams. Now, Team Liquid don't need this win in the grid standings as much as Oxygen do, but they just need it for their confidence more than anything else. They've had such a... They're the other team besides Oxygen who have had a very inconsistent season. Um, but the last time that these two teams did match up on the grid, Oxygen swept them. So I'm, you know, confident that the boys can repeat here. Yep, and we are off to a fast start here. Uh, we're, of course, starting off on Farrakhan. This is a nice opportunity here for Liquid, but uh, Astral puts the kibosh on that. Sort of interesting to see that Astral is back on the Fennec. He's yeah. given up on the um, Merc. Took me a long time to remember that card. <laughs> How could you forget? But no, the I don't know. I, I I don't think the like we talked about this last grid. I don't think Mark was the problem for Astral at all. Um, but no. you know, I expect to see him dabbling with it. You know, on and off. I don't think that that's the last we're going to see of it. But uh, yeah, we've got the full shot set. Fennec show here. Everybody repping the car that was popularized by Shawset himself. Nobody. I said a blinder of a tournament win in the mark yet to start that meta, the next generation of Rocket League car usage. Ooh, a difficult read there by Fruity, but he actually got a hit in a very useful location, albeit awkward. But Team Liquid have been under pressure for a fair bit of this game so far. Boost steal from Cuxer, look at him sneaking in behind enemy lines there. The speed, not so speedy in the takeoff to that aerial. They immediately lose their pressure. Seems like maybe just speedy in the wrong direction. Is True. All. One of them where you're Facts. just like using all of the boost in the tank to go the other direction when yeah. you, you know <laughs> you, you, you meant to take off that way in the first place. Has been a, a pretty fiery quick start here. Um, no goal scored, obviously, but both teams seem like they came to play. Oh, you know, like, oh that was so close. Far post from Astral, and now Farah is lurking to see if he can put this ball middle for his teammates. Yeah, that was a gorgeous shot from Astral. He is playing very well right now, if not for that double commit against where with him nice. and shot set. But yeah, I like the back pass from Astral. Fruity. Oh, that's a pass and a half to speed. Really nicely done. That focus on team play will always be present with Team Liquid. Have to give them a shout out, by the way, over at the Team Liquid viewing party, the Team Liquid grid stream. We've been having a great uh, time watching back their clips every time that the show oh is over God, for Oxygen. We the absolutely best. love the clips that they're generating over there um, at the Team Liquid grid factory. Yeah, uh, you know, shout out to Danny Boy and Boyo Royo. Or Royo Boyo, as you called them earlier. Oh, did I, did I mess it up? That's uh, standard smells <laughs> procedure. I wasn't sure if you did it on purpose, because it did sound, it, you know, it's just the same name practically, except two letters switched. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we we really love uh, the he their style. He can call style. me Wells, Wells Smurf if he wants or something like that. It's <laughs> fine. Fair is fair. Fair is fair. And he is centering the ball. Chassette didn't get the high first touch that he wanted. But still, Oxygen have had the majority of the territory in this game. And they're doing a lot with it. Nice oh, that's pass. a beautiful pass. It's off the bar again, though. Chassette oh. and Astral both tickling the crossbar in game one. You gotta make those. Honestly. Oh, what? What? The Airbus strikes we again. Got it. The Airbus oh. has still got it. Oh my goodness. I guess that's kind of a dunk, kind of a, kind of a pre-jump. I think Farrah was just as shocked about that one as we were. He was motionless after the goal. <laughs> Use the creator code Airbus at checkout, chat. Oh, yes. I, we, we, I, did you do that all the other day? I, I have already used the Airbus creator code. Yes, we, we both did. <laughs> we both <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, the other night. Oh, yes. Shaw set Sick. with the double touch looking nice as well, but we're still reeling from that dominant play from the Airbus. Yeah, what's a double jump compared to a pre-jump dunk that Farah just pulled out? Uh, but yeah, remember to use Farah's creator code Airbus in the item shop. We have both, myself and uh, Smellsworth have both used that one already. I think out of everybody, all the creator codes I'm seeing, that was my favorite. It's so funny that he's just adopted the thing he didn't like initially. Oh. But now Kuxer's going to get one back. Huge block by speed, and Team Liquid are on the board. 
Yeah, Pharaoh looking like ground bus here. Just drives forward, <laughs> does not move, unfortunately. <laughs> You're still getting towed out to the runway on that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's still dazed from his <laughs> insane play from earlier. Oh, yeah, this is a chance for Steam Liquid again. Nuxer will pass off the near post to absolutely no one. I don't think that was his fault. There's a bit of a, a bit of miscommunication, perhaps. Maybe a lack of boost in the supporting player. Great half flip synergy there between Ferdinand and Chelset. I would love to see that in Rocket League. An entire team half flipping and then flipping away. Did that ever happen? I know that that happened in basketball in a clip that I saw. An entire team all started running all in the same stride. Yeah, they all half flip. <laughs> they all half flip. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, have you seen that clip? I don't know what uh, which team it was, but there was a team of the, uh, all five players, they all, in the same stride, turned around and ran back to their half. Like, it was robotic. Um, oh, I don't recall. No, Some, somebody in Twitch chat probably can tell us what team that was. Because it was quite, okay. uh, it was all over the internet. I've seen it a few times. Imagine half flipping in real life. I've seen a dog half flip before. I have seen that. Never a human, though. Oh, hold on. Guxar, what a save oh, by Chassette to keep. Oxygen's the lead here. Just out of nowhere, Kuxer trying to steal the show, but not to be. Oxygen take game one. But I've been informed the drops will be enabled for every one of these grid streams. The fact that this grid stream is on a Tuesday, not a Friday, leads me to believe that they may have forgotten to turn them on. So uh, for the time being, mods, could you take drops enabled out of the chat? Because I'm not sure if they are enabled. I don't want to... Like, I'd rather them be enabled and not have it in the title than have them not be enabled and have it say that they are in the title. Thank you, King Spectre. And may you have the peace of not being asked about drops. Indeed, with you it's a nice little. All night. That would be kind of fun, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a nice addition to the broadcast. Nice addition <laughs> to the Twitch chat, or omission, I should say. Have we figured out a, you know, not so friendly name for the people that constantly only ask about drops and nothing else? Um. Because if not, I can work on it. The drop babies? Eh, maybe rats. Drop rats. <laughs> 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 okay, you win. Yours is definitely more harsh. <laughs> this is the first thing that comes to mind. I don't know. Oh, the drop rats are here. Excellent. <laughs> That's really anyway. drop down pass to Pharaoh. Nice interception by Kuxer. Speed has a bit of space, but the first touch will have to be fast. It isn't fast enough. Pharaoh will catch up to him and block him from continuing that dribbling play. Chassette doesn't have much boost here, so he's going to control the ball. Um, heavy first touch. Cux goes in for it, still gets it over him. And let's see what. Woo! Nice little dunk here from Farah goes into the back corner, but it looks like Speed should have enough time to, to grab this. Chassette with the read in the pre-flip, though. Wow. And that was a dangerous ball, but Fruity handled it well. Yeah, many, many a pre-jump save already in this series, especially in game two. You gotta remember Chassette's pre-jump save to keep the scoreline at 2-1 in the last game. And obviously, Team Liquid, or as the Team Liquid grid stream would say, Time Liquid, they are Time Probably level. still going to be feeling a bit unfortunate after the opening goal they conceded. Hard to forget a goal of that magnitude. All let's right, see if... Have the chance. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say let's see if uh, Oxygen can get another lucky goal. I'm looking at Farah in particular. What a big, another big dunk from him. The, the falling accidental dunk. This is what we all need right now. Woo! Farah lacing that banger here into the corner. Now Astral has an open net. Fruity gets back. That was a not an easy save by him, and Chassette decides to leave that center ball from Farah. Astral into the corner. The ball goes middle, and Chassette again with a bit of a heavy first touch. Doesn't really result in much offense here. Yeah, it was um, not the best hit shot from Astral. He missed the open part of the net, you know. Pro players will still call that an open net. If part of the net is open, it's an open net. Even if you know 95% of it is defended, they'll always you know want to hit that part that isn't. Bit of boost left over for Farah. Another block coming in. That one wasn't as lucky as the game one block was. It was almost as effective. I feel like the important part of the open net call is actually like you should have made that. That's basically yeah, you should have yeah. made that. <laughs> yeah, you could have yeah. made that. The should've open designation goal. is really just, what are you doing, mate? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, nice little passing play here. Chassette wow. moves the ball into the middle, and Astro oh, there to clean my. it up. But this little play here on the wall from Farrow, nice, and Chassette's pop over the top, of oh, course, just wow. breaks Fruity's XLs. Yeah, that's a straight up 1v3. Chassette dribbling the remaining two players while running away from the third who was trying to demo him from behind. That's reminiscent of 2019 Chassette who is smashing everybody with the grind plays. Farah just reads the fake challenge to perfection, makes it 2-0. And unfortunately for Team Liquid, they're having the exact same series as they did last time they played against Oxygen and Grid. You feel like Coxer should just go for that. I don't know what the fake challenge is accomplishing. It's far too close range to react to Farah's shot. Yep. As the Bean Man himself would say, Marky Nuda, if you're going to get that close, you have to challenge. Yeah. And I'm sure Cuxer's heard. At me. Yeah, he's, uh, I was going to say, Cuxer probably has memories of the Bean Man, Marky Nuda, saying that to him as well, because back in the day, Cuxer was a very reactive player, and Marky was always telling him, just, just go for it. Just, You need to just be aggressive here. Um, that was, you know, when, when Mark used to farm Cuxer in 1v1, the distant past. Uh, that's obviously a long long time ago now, but... Yeah, they had, a, they had pretty oh, much the very the opposite out. styles. Shall set fakes to drop down. Faking in chat, please. Oxford is still looking good. Uh, yeah, actually, Bobby, I can make that happen. Probably what I'll do is just uh, enable Bacchus mod in between these games. That's the, the much easier way to do that, to enable director cam on the replays. Good shout. Oh, there's a way to do that? Just to... Uh, it's basically B Bacchus Mod d does the, you know, the Bacchus Mod replays, so yeah, it's not yeah, quite yeah. director cam, but it's it's much better than just spare our shot set in the back of the room while someone else scores across the field. <laughs> True. Yeah, this is looking very over. Oxygen did not need some good fortune in game number two. They've made this one a lot more one-sided. Uh, I mean, a lot more one-sided. Got to remember that Team Liquid were just a single shot away on zero seconds from equalizing in the last game. But what a tough round one draw. Although every draw kind of looks difficult these days in the grid. Teams are improving week to week. And the quality of play is improving week to week. This, uh, so far, is a good start for Oxygen. We're going to go to Astral Cam for this next match, and then after that, we will do Cuxy Wuxy Cam, because that's getting a lot of requests, as usual. Yeah, at this rate, I don't know if you're going to get a uh, game four to do that, we but we'll not. see. We, we may not. See. Luckily for all of the Cux fans, you can see Cuxer play on the Team Liquid stream. Another shout out for them. Um, at this rate, they're going to need to qualify through the lower bracket, so we might get a one-series break where Oxygen don't have to play and Team Liquid do. Uh, yeah, if, the, if that occurs, I, yeah, no better time to go watch the Team Liquid stream. Oh my goodness, did Speed just miss an he open did. net? Or he an did. open part of the net? He should have scored that. Team Liquid in the light off already. Let's try with the pass down here. It's actually a little bit confusing. Are they all using the same exact Fennec? I don't or think they're all. They all are. Chasset and, and I believe Farah are. Oh, Chasset and Astral are. Yeah, yeah. yeah Farah has his typical one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Farah is yeah, slightly different. Like, at first, I was like, "Am I on the wrong camera? Like, <laughs> what, what exactly is happening here? This is a good challenge from Astral. S speed not really getting that ball." On, on his hood comfortably there. It was pretty clear that, you know, he wasn't going to make a flip play happen or anything at that point in time. And Astro with the, wow, the double dunk. Really good save. I wouldn't actually mind seeing, um, you know, if it's, there's a team playing with Phil Fennec, I think, uh, you know, Rock League Esports, so it would be good if they all used the same color. Beautiful shot by Cox. No answer to that one from Oxygen. A couple of very good passes before it. Speed to Fruity to Coxer. That is... Great, great synergy. Probably the best synergy we've seen from Team Liquid all day. Astral looking pretty hot in all the other defensive uh, opportunities so far this game, but not that one. He is up quick to this one, though. Luckily, Fruity was just up a little bit quicker. Um, I'm pretty sure that was going in if Astral got a hold of that ball there. So nice done, nicely done by Fruity to keep that one out. 
Uh, Team Liquid have been revitalized by that goal. No better way to lift the spirits than a full team goal. And that is what they have accomplished here. Occident don't look too deterred by that though. Another brilliant ball chase on the recovery from Azrael. Eliminates speed from what could have been another dribbling opportunity. Now Azrael's got one. He's 1v2 and he finds the gap between them. Look at just unbelievable with the first touch and the finish. Yeah, it does help that whenever this guy touches the ball, everybody sort of bees themselves a little bit. Everybody runs so away. Like, what exactly is coming? <laughs> he can shoot from anywhere. He makes a couple really strong fakes there and melts the defense. It's pretty sick there. Uh, we've got a few people asking why is the grid on today and not uh, Thursday, Friday. It's because this Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the EU regional. The final EU regional for this split will be a four day in a row headline show um, starting this Thursday. NA Grid will still be on Thursday. It will just happen after the Thursday night of the EU regional event for this week. So lots of EU Rocket League back to back here uh, before the little bit of NA in the middle. I'm glad that I have you on my team to explain all these things that I do not pay attention to. Well, you know, I would, why would you if you're um, uh, not having to do that Thursday for me is going to be pretty insane. Casting RCS and then doing great after. Oh, wow, look at that by Farrah. What a finish! Astral just clipped this one into the corner wall after getting a bump in defense. Farrah was right there with it. Beautiful speed and a great finish from the Dreamhack champion. Yeah, with Cux here facing backwards, Farrah's going to go that go for that every day of the week. Not really worried about a big counter play coming off that. Nice block here from Farah. Now this ball is hanging out a lot in the corner, but not really entering dangerous territory at all. And this one's a little bit more dangerous, but Astral does well fighting at midfield for this. Oh my oh, goodness. What? Jumps off the, he just is always in the right place at the right time <laughs> to have some sort of like late flip ceiling shots or flip reset. It's kind of mad how well he reads the play and puts himself in those positions. Yeah, it's all about the recoveries for Astral. He stays relevant all the time in every game at all at all times throughout those games. He's got a magnetic effect. He just finds the ball or the ball finds him. And let's see if Oxygen can Move this ball down the field. A little double commit there from <coughs> Farah and Astral. I think Farah thought Astral was out of boost or didn't have that next touch and went up at the same time. Chassette holds the line and it doesn't end up being a big problem for the team. Yeah, I'll tell you what, the Team Liquid definitely have a problem here. They've had many close losses in the grid, but Oxygen have their number. This will be If they win this, this will be the seventh consecutive game that they win against Team Liquid in the grid after the 4-0 sweep. I think it was in week six, but um, I'm not 100% sure on that one. Team Liquid just struggling to assert their game. They have, you know, really struggled to establish any kind of consistent pressure on Oxygen. That's where Team Liquid thrive, when they're shooting, 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 not letting the other team um, get a touch on the ball. It doesn't work keep against it away, the XG. Keep it away! <laughs> keep it away! Keep it away! <laughs> keep it away! Oh, no! <laughs> I'm sure we got a few more than a few people watching who don't know the reference there, but that is a brilliant rendition of the Team Liquid versus Vitality ending from the Team Liquid viewing party. Uh, what week did that happen? I actually forget, but yeah, that was pretty good. I've got to say, that was, that was actually uh, pretty close.